I pray unto the Lord Jesus Christ to keep me alive long enough where I could see this man get out. He went in as a young boy. He's come, he come out as a man. New at six, two Georgia men free today after 25 years of wrongful imprisonment. Lee Clark was one of those men. He was just 17 years old when he was arrested for the 1996 shooting death of his friend, 15 year old Brian Bowling. Crazy story. Our Paolo yeah. Soros spoke to Lee and his father today. And Paula, I can't imagine how emotional this must be for the family. Absolutely. I mean, just look at that, all the emotion on their face. You know, Lee tells me he wasn't sure if this day would ever come. And now that he's finally out, he tells me he first ate a large meal, of course. Then he stayed up until three in the morning, catching up with his father. His father tells me he always had hope that he'd see his son outside prison walls. I've always wanted to win the lottery, and I just won it. Best thing that ever happened to me in my whole life. Pictures of Lee Clark hugging his loved ones for the first time in 25 years, worth a thousand words. I'm still trying to soak all this in. It's kind of uh, surreal to me. I've been trying to find people to pinch me to wake me up, make sure I ain't sleeping, but uh, walking out of that jail the other night, that's been the, that's the greatest day of my life. It's a day. Clark wasn't sure would ever come. It's not been easy for me. I really had to dig down deep. And there were some times I didn't think I was going to make it. But the support of this man right here, this right here is my rock. But he credits this moment to his family, as well as the Proof Podcast and the Georgia Innocence Project, who started digging into his case. I cannot emphasize enough. This is so unusual. I mean, most of the time we're in court for years. In 1996, he and Kane Joshua's story were both arrested for the shooting death of their friend, 15-year-old Brian Bowling. As Georgia Innocence Project senior attorney Christina Cribbs explains, although Clark was nowhere near the shooting when it happened, he was arrested and sentenced to life in prison. He was a teenager when he went to prison, and he's 43 years old now. His whole adult life has been spent in prison, and it's really... It's kind of overwhelming, it's happy, it's bittersweet. Now they will be spending Christmas together for the first time in over two decades. 25 years ago, I took him up there just thinking it's just a, a big mistake or whatever. That's the last time I've saw my son out, uh, outside the walls. A part of me was locked up with him. But for those who are still wrongfully incarcerated, Clark has a message. If you keep hope, and you keep believing. Hey, man. It's going to come about That's one right. day. That's it's right. going to come about one day. Wow, what a great story of redemption. I mean, 25 years, you can see all the emotion in those still photographs. So what's next for father and son? Yeah, you know, Ron, I asked them that specific question. You know, what is next for both of you? Lee says he absolutely loves NASCAR and plans to go to a lot of races. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Glenn says he just loves to hunt and cannot wait to go hunting with his son. And that's something he's been waiting to do for decades. Absolutely, and we wish them the best, of absolutely. course. Thanks, Paula.